I am a certified relationship coach. I've been working with clients, helping them attract love and keep it. Because it's one thing to attract a relationship, it's a whole nother thing to keep it. So how can we keep our relationships going? The biggest thing that you could ever, ever do is work on your communication. That's the biggest and the best thing you can do. Having clear, concise communication, say what you mean and mean what you say. But what does that mean? So let me give an example and let me give a tip. Tip of the week is learn how to bring up issues. That is a big one because I see so many people who don't want to bring up things because they don't want to rock the boat. Well, all you're doing is taking the stress of what's happening on the outside and you're putting it inside your body because you're suppressing it. Suppression is not healing. It's not. Suppression is not progressing. It's you're going to stay stuck. And not only that, if you keep suppressing whatever's going on, you might get to the point where you just finally explode. Now, if you feel like your partner cannot receive any type of input, feedback, or request, you need to ask yourself, is this the partner for you? Okay. Now, if you are that partner that you're, you're trying to receive, or you're in the receiving end of getting that feedback, then I can only stress, stress to you, please, please listen with an open ear, but it also is dependent upon how that message is given to you. So learn ladies and men learn how to give feedback, learn how to bring up an issue. So get bringing up an issue is saying, I need to have a conversation with you. I'm feeling a certain type of way because of X, Y, Z, right? It's not bringing it up to antagonize or put fault or blame on the other person. Because a lot of times when we bring up issues, that is what the other person hears. Oh my gosh, they don't ever like anything I do. My goodness, so I can't do anything wrong. Oh, see, that's playing the whole victim mentality and all of that. And so if you're worried about people acting like that, when you bring up an issue, then let's focus on how we bring up the issue. We can't control their response. If that is their response, every time you bring something up, trust and believe that is something that they have to work on. Okay. So if you are one of those people that cannot receive feedback, well, cannot hear uh, what the other person is saying, well, you take everything as an attack, then let's have a separate conversation. That's not going to be today's tip. Today's tip or this week's tip rather is how to give the feedback. And then next week or another time, I will do the tip on how to receive the feedback without feeling attacked. But how to give the feedback or how to say, hey, mm, I don't like how X, Y, Z, you know, whatever happened. Here's my biggest tip on how to bring it up. One, y'all choose proper time and proper place. I can't stress that enough. If you automatically immediately bring up something that they did that you didn't like and it depends on the situation okay I'm not talking something that's really egregious I'm talking about whatever but like 90% of the issues that's going on in a relationship can probably wait to have a conversation when both parties are ready to have a conversation if you have to immediately bring something up every single time, you need to ask yourself, um, am I reacting or am I responding? Because if you have to bring it up immediately every single time your partner does something you don't like, you are always reacting. And reacting is like not having self-control, right? You want to get to a place to where you have some control. And, and normalize your emotions. Just be like, you know what? Let me analyze things. Let me fix my words before I just blurt them out. It's very important to do some self-reflecting before you have the conversation. That's more than half the battle. So before you react, just say, you know what? I'm not going to react. I'm going to respond. And I want to have a conversation with my partner. Focus on one, getting to a place where you can communicate it. Because if whatever's bothering you is very hurtful, it pissed you off, then I definitely suggest you to wait to bring it up. Wait until you calm down. You have to learn how to regulate your emotions, okay? Because everything cannot be a reaction. 
when somebody cuts you off in traffic oh i'm i'm about to go cut them off. i'm about to do all this kind of stuff that's reacting people are controlling your emotions you're not able to control your own so it, you need to work on that piece it's important it's very important to learn how to regulate your own emotions emotions uh, control your own emotions and the whole world the society your partner cannot control you you are not a puppet so work on that first and then when you finally sit down and analyze the situation, because maybe, maybe in your anger or maybe in your irritation, you saw the situation one way, but once you calm down and regulate your emotions, maybe you'll be more open-minded to see it a different way before you go at the person. So calm down, think on it. And then when both parties are ready, like your partner isn't doing a million tasks they're they're not rushing off to work they're not trying to watch their football or basketball game when both parties are free and able to have a conversation you can even schedule it they you, can we be free tonight at 7 p.m i want to have a conversation with you it's as simple as that nobody's irritated nobody's pissed off you've calmed down you've thought about it and now you're going to have a conversation that is how you bring up issues. It is not arguing. It's not yelling. It's not attacking. Because once we start attacking, once we start yelling, once our voice is raised, you put your partner immediately on the defense. And I know that is not what you're trying to do, but that is what happens. And I'll tell you this, nothing, nothing, nothing productive is going to come out of the conversation when you're irritated, upset, mad, angry, hurt. Nothing good is going to come out of the conversation. So learn how to one, regulate your emotions two learn how to bring things up at the proper time in a proper place. And then learn how to not use words that are attacking your partner. I felt a certain type of way when X, Y, Z. Not your ass don't ever do. You always immediately putting that person in the defense. And then you're not going to like what they have to say. Next thing you know, you're going to be arguing. That's my relationship tip of the week, y'all. Okay, this is so important. This is conflict resolution, dang it. So that's my tip of the week, y'all. Enjoy your week. Y'all go out here, be kind. Please like and subscribe if you like this content because we're giving out free relationship advice as a certified relationship coach who works with people to have the best, best, best relationship and the healthiest. Y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Until next week, for the next tip of the week, y'all uh, take care.